life in Uzbekistan. From being an integral part of the Soviet Union to lying right in the middle of the world-famous historic Silk Road, Uzbekistan has seen it all. Now surrounded by Turkmenistan, Kyrgyzstan, Kazakhstan, Afghanistan, and Tajikistan, it is one of the only two doubly landlocked countries on Earth and is widely known as one of the cheapest countries in the world. Historically, Uzbekistan has played an important role in the development of the Silk Road, the ancient trade route that connected the East and West. Cities like Samarkand, Bukhara, and Kiva were major hubs for trade, culture, and knowledge exchange, attracting scholars, traders, and travelers from all over the world. Today, with a population of over 34 million, it is the most populous country in Central Asia. The majority of the population are ethnic Uzbeks, but there are also significant communities of Russians, Tajiks, Kazakhs, Karakalpaks, and other ethnic groups. The official language of the country is Uzbek, a Turkish language, but most people in the urban areas speak Russian. The country boasts a GDP of $401.8 billion, which depends upon various sectors including agriculture, education, industry, and tourism. Geographically, Uzbekistan is very diverse and features fascinating locations like the vast Kazilkum Desert, the fertile Fergana Valley, and the majestic Tian Shan and Pamir mountain ranges. The country's climate is continental with hot summers and cold winters, and there are many areas that are still relatively uninhabited compared to the major cities of the country. Number-wise, Islam is the most dominant religion in the country, with the majority of the population identifying as Sunni Muslims. The country has a long history of Islamic scholars, particularly belonging to cities like Bukhara and Sumarkand, which were centers of learning during the Islamic Golden Age. Now, while Islam is the most followed religion in the country, the Uzbeks are known for their moderate and tolerant approach towards religion. Especially regarding general attire and the way of living, Uzbeks follow Russians more than Arabs, which, like them, are Muslims. In addition to Islam, Uzbekistan is home to small communities of Orthodox Christians, Jews, and other religious groups. The country's constitution guarantees freedom of religion, and there is a long history of coexistence between different faiths, particularly in cities like Tashkent and Bukhara, where diverse religious communities have lived side by side for centuries. Uzbeks are traditionally known to love color in their clothes. Uzbek attires are known for their bright colors, intricate patterns, and extraordinary craftsmanship. Men are commonly seen wearing chapan and dopi, while women often wear the atlas or address dresses made from silk or cotton with beautiful patterns. Like South Asians during the time of special occasions and festivals, Uzbeks dress in their finest traditional attire, showcasing the rich textile heritage of the country. The cities of Marjilin and Bukhara are renowned for producing some of the finest fabrics in the world. The process of creating these textiles involves dyeing the threads before weaving, resulting in the distinctive ikat patterns that are a symbol of Uzbek fashion. Just like clothing, music and dance too are important to Uzbek culture, with each region having its own unique style. The Shashmakam, a classical music tradition from Bukhara, is one of the most well-known forms of Uzbek music and consists of beautiful melodies and poetry. Folk music, on the other hand, is often accompanied by instruments like the dutar, tanbur, and duara. Celebration of any kind is considered incomplete without dance, and traditional dances such as the lazgi from Khorizm is specifically known for its energetic and expressive movements, while the andijan polka from the Fergana Valley represents a certain gracefulness and elegance. These dances are often performed at weddings, festivals, and cultural events. In Uzbekistan, life is a perfect blend of tradition and modernity. While the country has embraced technological advancements and urbanization, it has also preserved its cultural heritage and traditional way of life, and family is the cornerstone of this traditional way. 
Households often consist of extended families living together, with multiple generations under one roof. Respect for elders is a must, and decisions are usually made with the input of the older family members. The role of the Aksakau, which is an elderly male, is particularly important, as he is often seen as the head of the family or community. Marriages in Uzbekistan are traditionally arranged, while a shift towards modern practices has also been seen. Often the weddings are a lengthy affair that can go on for several days, featuring music, dance, and a lavish feast. The Nako, or Islamic marriage ceremony, is a central part of the wedding, followed by a reception known as Toy, where hundreds of guests are invited. The daily life of people of the country varies depending on whether they live in urban or rural areas. In cities like Tashkent, Samarkand, and Bukhara, Life is fast-paced, with the citizens working in various departments like education, healthcare, government, or business. Urban Uzbeks have access to a wide range of facilities like shopping malls, restaurants, and expensive hotels. However, in rural areas, life is a bit traditional and revolves around agriculture. Most of the families work as farmers and grow crops such as cotton, wheat, and fruits. Livestock farming is also quite common, with sheep, goats, and cattle being raised for meat, milk, and wool. Like any other culturally rich country, Uzbekistan has a rich cuisine that has been influenced by Persian, Turkish, Mongol, and Russian traditions. The food is known to be flavorful, with great focus on meat, bread, and vegetables. Meals are often a communal affair, with dishes shared among family and friends. Some of the well-known Uzbek dishes include plav, samsa, lagman, and shashik. However, the most important position in the country's culinary world is taken up by tea, particularly green tea, as it's commonly called the national drink of Uzbekistan. Uzbekis love to celebrate and the country's calendar is filled with festivals and events. Each year on March 21st, the whole country celebrates Navruz, which marks the arrival of spring and the beginning of the new year according to the solar calendar. Uzbeks believe that Navruz is a time of renewal and celebrate it with complete enthusiasm. Being a Muslim-majority country, Uzbekistan observes the two major Islamic holidays, Eid al-Fitr, which marks the end of Ramadan, and Eid al-Aha, the festival of sacrifice. These holidays are significant religious events and also have important social and cultural dimensions. Despite all these cultural and religious holidays, the most important celebration is Uzbekistan's Independence Day, which is celebrated on September 1st. This day commemorates the country's independence from the Soviet Union in 1991. Independence Day is celebrated with official ceremonies, military parades, and cultural performances. The capital, Tashkent, hosts a grand celebration in Independence Square, where government officials, foreign dignitaries, and citizens gather to watch fireworks, listen to patriotic speeches, and enjoy concerts featuring traditional music. Uzbekistan's government pays close attention to education in the country. The country has a well-established education system, with free and compulsory schooling for children aged 7 to 18. Education is divided into primary, secondary, and higher education, with a strong emphasis on science, mathematics, and literature. Literacy rates in Uzbekistan are among the highest in the world, with nearly universal literacy among both men and women. Higher education in Uzbekistan is also very good, with many universities and institutions offering degrees in a wide range of fields. The oldest and most prestigious university in the country is the National University of Uzbekistan in Tashkent, which was established in 1918. In recent years, there's been a growing focus on improving the quality of higher education, with initiatives aimed at increasing international cooperation modernizing curricula, and enhancing research capabilities. After the independence, 
Uzbekistan has worked to create significant changes with modernization and urbanization being key factors of the country's development. Tashkent, the capital of the country, represents this new approach with a population of more than 2.5 million people. It is the political, economic, and cultural center of the country, having wide boulevards, modern buildings, and an efficient metro system. The city is also home to numerous museums, theaters, and cultural institutions, which highlight Uzbekistan's rich artistic and intellectual heritage. The State Museum of History, the Alishur Navoy Opera and Ballet Theater, and the Independence Monument are just a few of the landmarks that show tourists the truth about the country's history and culture. Some other cities like Samarkand, Bukhara, and Andijan have also taken this approach and made infrastructure development and modernization projects a part of their landscape. However, despite all of these developments, these cities still have a lot of history and culture to offer their visitors. In the last few years, the government is focusing a lot on modernization, including improving transportation, telecommunications, and energy infrastructure of the country. Projects such as the construction of new highways, high-speed railways, and the expansion of the national grid are aimed at boosting economic growth and improving the quality of life for citizens. To conclude, Uzbekistan is a country where the past and present coexist in a delicate balance. The country's ancient cities, vibrant culture, and rich traditions paint a picture about the historical importance of the region, while the modernist cities offer an excellent look into the future of the country, which, by the way, is looking quite bright. With years passing by, Uzbekistan has certainly stood the test of time and come out as one of the powerhouses of Central Asia.